This demo of basic inventory control desktop demonstrates how to view transactions for a given product. Choose View Inventory to see a listing of all your products. Let's say we wanted to know what are all the transactions that have been recorded for anti-foam. The transactions are things like receipts and shipments. In order to see the transactions for this product, click on, on the product that you're interested in and press the Transactions button on the right hand side. All the transactions recorded for this product are shown. Note that in this box you see the name of the product that this transaction window is being filtered by. We see the anti-foam product and we see a shipment and a couple of receipts. We can further filter this view by pressing this properties icon. For example, let's say I just wanted to see the transactions for this year only. I can choose this year, press OK, and now I only see inventory transactions for this year. Now let's choose a different product. Let's choose Agitator and if I press transactions it shows no transactions have been recorded for this product. Again the name of the product is shown in this part of the window and uh, other filter criteria can be set if needed. Another way to view transactions for products is by creating a custom transactions report. By pressing all views and reports, all my views and reports are displayed. We are going to create a transaction report. This is a new custom transaction report. In this report, I want to see transactions for this year. Next, we enter the title for this report and then choose the columns we want to be displaying on this report. This is an inventory transactions report for the current year. To filter the transactions to the current year, we have to specify a criteria. So under the criteria tab, I can choose a filter this year and that will only show the transactions recorded for all products during this year. If I wanted to restrict this report to a certain product, I can choose a product and specify that as a filter as well. In this case, I just, I'm, not in, I'm only interested in the current year. So once this view is created, let's go ahead and open it. And now what we see here are all the transactions that have been recorded for this year. After I've created the report, I can modify the properties if I like to. Let's say I decided I want to see all transactions. So I can change the name. And then in the criteria, I can remove the filter all dates. And now I can see transactions for all products over uh, any period of time.